Hi everybody, today I'm showing you how to do the crocodile stitch um, which is a really lovely stitch uh, to use on slippers or scarves or bags. Um, this is a lady slipper, the pattern for this I'll put in the description below if you want to go to my website and make these. These are for adults, teens to adults, one size. Um, the crocodile stitch is really fairly easy once you've mastered it. It's based around the front post stitch um, and so you create these just normal double crochet and then some gaps with some chains and then you do two double crochet gaps and single crochet um, so it's fairly easy so let's get on with it um, so this uh, little tiny weeny little project this represents your scarf or bag or whatever you're working on um, and I've just just basically just done some chains and then some single crochet along uh, this is actually nine I've ended up with nine single crochet stitches because the crocodile stitch um, this particular one just works in uh, units of eight plus one, I think. Um, so I've got nine stitches. So we're going to chain, first of all, we're going to chain five. So that's one, two. Now the first two is our double first double crochet. And then we're going to chain another three. One, two, three. And they're going to be our chains that create our gap. And we're going to turn our work. And then we're going to skip three stitches. So obviously we'll skip the first one, which is the bottom of our chains. So we're going to skip one, skip two, skip three. And then in the fourth one, we're going to work two double crochet. So yarn over. So that's one double crochet. Yarn over. And two double crochet like so, this is in US terminology. Uh, then we're going to chain two, just slightly less because we've done a we've done two double crochet there. And so chain two, then we're going to skip another three. So that's one, two, three. And then we're just going to do a single double crochet in our last stitch. Like so. Okay, so this has created our um, the foundation double crochet post that we need to work our crocodile stitch around. So it always works with a single double crochet, then a gap, and then two together, which is where the actual crocodile stitch goes, and then a gap, and then uh, a single double crochet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one, count that as a stitch, if you wish, uh, and then we're going to turn our work and do yarn over. So now we're going to work our double crochet front post stitch. So I'll be teaching you two things at once here. Um, so we're going to go put our hook through the massive gap and we're going to come up between between the two double crochet posts. So that's not the stitch. So you don't want to be working in this stitch line normal. You want to be just going around the back of the post, double crochet stitch, and just coming up around the other side. So just, just go around like that. Then do yarn over and just bring your yarn through and up then finish your double crochet stitch as normal like so and you've just completed your first double crochet front post stitch and we're going to do five of those so we're going to go back through the big gap and then just up around the other side of your double crochet yarn round and just complete your stitch as normal so that's created two so yarn over go through just go around the other side, then three, grab the yarn, four, go through again, and do five, just for neatness sake. And that's created the first half of our crocodile stitch, as you can see. Now we need to work another five uh, double crochet front post stitches around our second double crochet post. Now to do this, I do yarn over and I flip the work upside down, like so. And just repeat the same. It could be a bit fiddly. So we go through the gap and then just round the back of our double crochet. Grab our yarn bring it up and then complete our stitch as normal like so 
to yarn over and if I flatten this you can see what we're doing so we go through that gap round the back and up grab our yarn back round bring it up and then complete your double crochet stitch as normal so you do five of those exactly the same we Five like so. And if we flatten our work and put it back around the right way, you can see you've completed the other half of your crocodile stitch and you've actually completed your first crocodile stitch, like so. And then all you need to do is just do a slip stitch or a as I do, I do a single crochet front post stitch around the last double crochet post. So that's just working the same. I'll show you that again. So rather than doing a double crochet, you just do a single crochet instead. So you put your yarn through, uh, you put your hook through the gap, grab the yarn, put it up and just do a single crochet stitch as normal. Like so. And that just ties your crocodile stitch into place. And all you do on the next row is um, what we did for our first, first row. So we do the chain five, and, but this time you do the two double crochets into the centre of your crocodile stitch. And then you chain another two and you do your last double crochet in the end. So I'll just show you quickly. So we do chain five, one, two, so that's our first double crochet, then three, or five like so and then we turn over turn our work round and now we need to work two double crochet just for the middle of our crocodile stitch one two and then we chain two as before and then we do if I get some more yarn, we do one double crochet in the uh, top of our, if you can find it, where is it, there it is, in the top of our uh, uh, first double crochet post there. Like so. And that basically creates our um, second block uh, that we can then work the crocodile stitch around the middle again like so if you wish you can actually alternate them as well um, like on this pattern I've alternated them I've done one there and then I've had them overlapping like that rather than having them on top um, but that's just a matter of just following a pattern um, that does the crocodile stitch but the basic fundamentals of the crocodile stitch is working um, front post stitches around uh, double crochets and turning upside down and doing them upside down like that it's, it's as simple as that so um, I hope that was helpful um, uh, happy crocheting I'll see you soon for some more instructional videos let me know what you think okay bye